Yeah, peeps. So, once more, yours truly, Boyd Grant. And today, I want to talk to you upon this. It says, if it cost you your peace of mind, if it cost you your peace of mind, then it's too expensive. If it cost you your peace of mind, it's too expensive. So, oftentimes, we go in a relationship or we even live with some family. We live with some friends or we have some friends. We have some families. We have some associates work or some organizations. And you realize uh, every minute you have your course. Every minute you stress out. Every minute is like you're not at peace with the friends, with the organization, within the organization, with your associate at your home, um, wherever it is, you are not at peace. People make you uncomfortable unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. So you know, say, this has stressed you out. So you feel as if you want to give up on life. You feel as if you're tired. You're tired for leave your life because people just make you feel as if you don't belong there you're less than human or you're less than them and if you don't mind shop then convince you say you are not nobody so you and them not supposed to work at the same place you and them not supposed to I get the same pay you and them not supposed to depend on the same rank you and them no supposed to be in the same management position you and them not supposed to I drive the same type of vehicle you and them not supposed to live in the same scheme you and them not supposed to drink at the same bar because they like people who drink. You and them not supposed to shop at the same supermarket. You and them not supposed to meet up. As I say, you are not supposed to live in the same scheme or so. I remember a day ago, I say a post where, I don't know if you know the history, but Devon House was owned by the first rich black man. Well done to you. Devon House was owned by that person. So there's this particular white lady who decides, say, yo, she feel intimidated by it. Say, it's a black man who owned that big bossy place. And she built a road called Lady Musgrave Road. Because she now have to drive past this black man place. You see how people stay? So the same thing now with this, them feel as if you're too small for you drive the same type of vehicle, for you living at the same community, for you living at the same scheme, you know, for you go to the same supermarket, for your picnic and go to the same school, for your picnic go prep and for them picnic go prep. So them look down on you. And them things that start to stress you and them things that start to get to you and you feel uneasy. Yeah? You feel you don't want to go back to work. You feel as if yo, every minute your head hurts you because what? You stress out, you fed up. People are pressure you unnecessarily. So now, may I say if it costs you that peace of mind, it's too expensive. You need to get rid of it. So where do you go get rid of that job? Find something better to do. But you can't allow them to cast you your peace of mind. Whether you are going to stand up on your toe foot them and make them know, say, yo, you're a man, me a man. You have seed, me have seed. You're not different than me. You're not more than me. You throw away a man at the end of the day. God make us equal. So you have to stand up because what it will cost you your peace of mind. And if it costs you your peace of mind, it's too expensive. So before it costs you that, stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Don't make nobody feel like they're more than you. Don't make nobody come intimidate you. Because we know the system set. Some of them people, yeah, them, they, they, them perplex you. Them draw your inner peace and because them higher than you. Then dear you to commit yourself so that them can have you. And we don't want that. 
So when you realize them purpose, you have to, you have to sidestep them. You have to be ten step ahead of them at all times. Be ten step of them, ahead of them at all times because they're up to something. They're up to something. And they will stress you out because there's a post, you know. We talk to that, you know, say so you have people. You have people that will provoke you to wrath and then play the victim. So them stress you out for you commit yourself. So that them can have you at their disposal. So them can have you for get a peer cut. So them can have you for lose, for lose, for lose um, some days. Them can have you for supervisor demote you. Them can have you for supervisor suspend you. Them can have you for supervisor fire you. And then they live comfortably. Eh? Oh, you do it. Oh, you do it. Be you want to know. So, remember, if it costs you, your peace of mind, it's too expensive. Don't make nobody, don't make nobody draw you to that limit. Don't make nobody draw you to that limit. You are more than that. You are better than that. Nobody no better than you. For them must scan you because you and them, you and them have to use the same, the same seat. You and them have to go in this, the same workplace and thing. So them think that they are superior and you are inferior. Just like what we see, I go on with the blacks and the white, or the white, them believe say them superior and we are inferior. So them believe say your certain supermarkets we not go in because black people go in a certain supermarkets and then turn them back. Think we're too small. So if it costs you a peace of mind, we are going to let it go. Let it go, people. Don't make nobody feel like them more than you. Be blessed.